Hello, so as some of you may or may not know, uh, past few years I've been trying to do a little bit of like small decorating things for Halloween with my car. I don't know, just something to kind of whatever because of Halloween. Um, so this year, considering the uh, virus and everything and how less people are decorating and uh, there might be less people actually walking door to door and stuff like that doing Halloween stuff this year, which uh, I think is just you know, horrible how everything worked out, uh, because Halloween is probably my favorite holiday. Uh, so I tried to actually, just like, step up what I've been doing, and last few, last few years I've been putting, like, Ghostbusters decals on my car for Halloween night and stuff like that, maybe, like, a couple of lights. This year I tried to do something a little bit more, nothing too crazy, because I'm not going to spend, like, thousands of dollars on this project, but, uh, just a little bit, uh, refining it and adding a couple more things, and, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to go over that. Uh, I know some people wanted to see how it ended up. So anyways, we got a 2005 Saturn view. Uh, it looks nothing like the car in the movie, but, you know, that doesn't matter. <laughs> and um, so we got a decal on the door there. And we have two rotating kind of like old-fashioned police siren lights up here. And around the back here we have an LED strip. And this is a red LED strip, so it kind of matches up with the red running lights on the car here. And it kind of, you know, at night it kind of looks like one coherent thing, which kind of helps give off the fin, like red uh, rear, like fin effect that the car in the movie kind of had. Uh, you know, as best as I can do with what I have here. So, anyways, I had this in previous years. I've had one of these lights in previous years, and I've had the decals in previous years. But... Uh, Mainly what's new this year is up here, this roof rack I have. Now I know it looks nothing like the roof rack on the car in the movie, um, whatever. But so this is actually metal that I cut and uh, I guess you could say welded or brazed together. It's aluminum, basically. Uh, it's pretty sturdy, actually. So I uh, definitely have no issues with it coming apart uh, while I'm on the road, which I need to make sure of. And uh, it's just bolted with these giant U-bolts here to the roof rack. Um, on the back here, we actually have like a really weird speaker box I threw together at the last minute. Basically, these are the speakers from the doors in my car that I extended the wires on and mounted up on the roof rack in their own speaker box enclosure here, uh, which is just a giant plastic Tupperware container. But either way, it works. It gets the job done. And um, yeah, I mean, it'll definitely work for one night. So go through the wiring here, it's a little bit insane. I figured I'd just explain what I had to do here. So, all the lights and everything, they're not powered off the car. They're powered off this battery here. And, um, as you can see, we got ground to the battery going to this thing, which is just a switch. Right, so I can switch it on and off easily. Uh, the positive goes to this with all the wires for the various uh, electronics splitting off. And same with, uh, this. These are basically like wiring harnesses, and from all these different wires, uh, you know, the power goes to the LED lights, the siren lights, or, you know, whatever else. So, that's that. That's pretty simple. Um, whatever, everything's wired in parallel, obviously. And so, for the speakers, it was interesting, because in past years, I've used different kinds of speakers. I've used, like, uh, nice computer speakers, and tried to play them from the inside of my car so I wouldn't go deaf using the just blaring my car radio but um, this year I actually tried to or not tried I did I took the car speakers right these normally would be a speaker right here so I removed the interior door panel uh, on my car and I took the wires that were already in here for the rear door speakers soldered on new wires um, to make the wires longer so that way I could take the speaker out mount it all the way in here on the roof in this box and it's still powered off my car stereo so that way I didn't have to do any other things with wiring up like other amps or anything into the car or, like hooking stuff up to the battery I didn't need to do any of that uh, because of this little neat thing here and uh, then when I want to put it back together all I got to do really is wind up all this extra wire shove it in the door and put the speaker right there and uh, you know potentially I could use it next year too if I wanted to do it the same way uh, if I still do this next year but, yeah, I don't know, I figured it would be an interesting thing to do, just, I don't know, try to do it kind of 
properly, wire everything up properly um, in a little bit of a less sketchy way if you consider this not sketchy. Uh, there's also no fuse in the whole circuit, but you know, that's, that's fine. We don't need safety. Um, yeah, so I think that's basically everything. I could flick on the lights here, show you what they look like. So here, let's see, it's kind of hard to see in the daylight, but these are the red LED lights to go around here. They don't look too good in the day. They look better at night. And uh, we have the rotating lights up here, which actually do look really cool. I actually really like these. I got these on Amazon. I forget what they're called, but really, really, really cool. And, uh, yeah, that's that. I'm going to try to get some, like, stupid videos of this thing. I don't know. See if we can get some funny, like, shots of it or something. Just, I don't know, because I... <laughs> because I have time with the lights and stuff on it before I take it all off because I'm not going to be the guy driving a car with Ghostbusters decals around uh, in November. So, yeah, it's basically it. 2005 Saturn View. I think it works pretty good for this. It is white, obviously, so it kind of has that, you know, I don't know, somewhat, it, you know, it's okay. It works. It works. So, uh, that is about it. Here's, yeah, here's a better view of the Switch thing, by the way. I made a couple pieces of wood here and I just put a switch into the wood just you know be, you know <laughs> it works I don't know it's kind of sketch um, yeah but it's all right anyways to the people who wanted to see this uh, there you go